1912, Cabot Yerkes uh, and his family uh, suffered a very huge setback in their life. And Cabot was left penniless and broke. They got off the train in Palm Springs, followed the North Star out here. They wandered out to the north portion, which would eventually be called Desert Hot Springs. He began walking 14 miles for water. But uh, eventually, uh, he heard from a Native American about wells in the area. Cabot went out into the desert, and he dug. And he got to a point in the ground where it started to get warm. He took a huge boulder, and he dropped it into the well. And it broke through that rock. And there was hot water in there. So in just one little area that he was in, he had hot water and cold water. It's great for the spas because it has a good high mineral content. None of the spas in this country or Europe have such pristine hot water without the sulfur spell. Well, the coffee uh, did the first one and that was very, very famous. And it was uh, reported to be very healthy. That's where a lot of famous people from the uh, Two Bunch Palms and the B-Bar H Ranch uh, came to visit. Uh, John Barrymore, uh, Leah Sobel, Tennessee Williams. John Lautner developed Hotel Lautner, we named it after him, uh, for a movie director named Lucian Hubbard. He was uh, the first uh, Oscar winning movie director for the silent movie Wings. is a, a, a great opportunity. You can buy land inexpensively now. It's a unique position. You have the beautiful mountains of San Jacinto and San Gregorio. I mean, water-wise, it's one of the most extraordinary places in the world. I think beyond that, there's an enthusiasm and an energy that has always impressed me about Desert Hot Springs. The tremendous amount of people who volunteer for social as well as historical. This will continue to be a key uh, portion of its celebration. And we are going to be booming again.